Hi, Jeremy. Hi. Welcome back. Um, good to see you again, but sorry to hear that your back's still feeling a little uncomfortable. Um, I want to take a full... You said on the phone you were experiencing some tingling, right, in the back? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so I want to do a full exam and back mapping today. I just want to see if there's anything on the surface that might be causing that discomfort, mm -hmm. as well as doing some physical tests to see if any positions make it worse or better. Um, and um, was it the, the right shoulder side? Um, uh, yeah. So like right um, back this area? Yeah. Okay. And that does correlate to that injury you had, although that was mostly muscular. Mm -hmm. Right shoulder, okay. And besides that little bit of tingling, um, does it come and go or is it consistent? Um, it comes and goes. Comes and goes, okay. Anything make it worse? Um, kind of inactivity. Sitting, sitting in one place at yeah. one time. Okay. So if you you know stretch it out, move around a little bit, it feels a little bit better. Blood's maybe flowing a little better. Mm -hmm. Okay. And what about any sensory stuff with uh, when you take a shower? Is there any burning or pain in that area? Not really. No. Okay. Great. I'm just taking notes here, so bear with me. Right. And no other changes or injuries since uh, I saw you last time, correct? No. Okay. okay. So let's go ahead and just do some range of motion while I have you sitting up. Um, I just want to see how you're moving. Um, so if you can do me a favor and swing yourself around here, I'm going to look at the back. Alright, so I want you to move um, side to side uh, like this. Go all the way down as far as you can. Okay, and the other way. Does that cause any of that tingling up in the shoulder here? Um, a little bit, yeah. Okay, and um, can I have you twist all the way to your right? Yep, right, it's fine there. And the, all the way to the left. Discomfort with that? Um, no. Okay, and take your head all the way down to your right shoulder. Do you feel anything that way? Yeah, a little bit. Okay, and the left side? How's that feel? It feels like a little bit. I'm just going to feel the neck here. I'm going to press on the spine. I just want you to tell me if any of the places I'm pressing leads to that discomfort. Around there. Around this mid-back. Mm -hmm. And continuing on, anything else here? Okay, just to do the sides. Same thing. Um, slight pain at the beginning on the right side. More like up here? Yeah. Okay. And not on this side? Not just on this side. Okay. And anything on the sides as I go down? Not really. Just gonna feel, feel around here. And you said you hadn't been doing anything too different, or have you been um, using the shoulder or the back any differently lately? Um, I have started using the row machine a little bit. The row machine? Okay. Would you do that motion for me where you come back with your shoulder blades? How does that feel? Um, that slightly hurts. Yeah. There, yeah. Does it make that sort of tingly set feeling? Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm wondering if there's maybe a nerve issue in this area of the spine. I think I need to take a look at the back a little closer to make sure there's nothing on the surface, but I'm just going to lightly press on your back all over it, and I want you to just tell me if anything is excessively painful. I know that you have some of that tingling and pain right around here, mm -hmm. but I want to know if you're feeling any sharp pains, okay? Okay. And I'm just going to press on every little spot here. Still that little bit of tingling discomfort right here, mm -hmm. but not anything unmanageable. No. Okay, on a scale from 1 to 10, 1 being no pain, 10 being excruciating pain, what would you rate that there? Mm, probably like a 4. Okay, so pretty manageable, but uncomfortable.
Nothing here, right? No. Okay. I'm just lightly tap on the spine now, and I want you to tell me if you feel that tingling sensation, and if so, when. Right around there. Okay, and tell me when it stops making that feeling. Stop right there. Right there, okay. So down here is good. Mm -hmm. Everything down there is okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. Okay, now I'm just gonna again put, I'm gonna push a little harder now into the muscles of the back. Mm -hmm. And would you say that's more sensation or more like, um, or more tingling sensation or more pain when I'm on this side here? Um, a little more pain. More pain, so mm -hmm. it's sort of more tingly here, but mm -hmm. more pain here. Mm -hmm. okay. these muscles there. Anything in the front of the shoulder? Um, not, not too much. Okay, good. Okay. I do want to take a look at the back now. Um, I'm going to first just visualize it and then I do want to do some sensation testing to make sure that you haven't lost any sensation. I do my initial diagnosis, although I have to do a full exam, is that there's some sort of pinched nerve right here in that upper back, um, possibly from the rowing. But let's have you uh, lay down on the table, uh, face down, and take a closer look. Okay. Okay, Jeremy, now that I have you laying down, I'm gonna look with my light here. First, just take a quick look at the surface. I don't see any bruising or unusual redness. Nothing that looks like you had an impact to the skin. Closer look here. Magnifying glass and light, especially in that uh, affected area. dryness, but no cracking or nothing severe enough where I would think it would affect the sensation of the skin or cause that tingling. I'm just going to compare it to the other side. Now checking down the spine any injuries that may have occurred there. It's okay. Check the temperature variations here. So got just a little bit of a cold metal tool here. Just want you to relax. swollen there. Let me just change that setting. There is just a little bit of heat in that area. Unsure if that's because there's some swelling or if because there's some discomfort. So you've been so you've been stretching it a little bit. 
more or playing with a little bit more. Everything else looks pretty clear. Let's just focus on that top then. Also, are just a couple of spots around here. Sometimes, depending on how deep into the skin our nevi here go, they can cause some tingling if they go deep enough to the dermis and give us a bit of sensation issues. But none of these look particularly really like they'll have large roots. And these are all quite small, flat. When I press these specific points, are you experiencing any additional tenderness? No. Okay. So yeah, I'm not too worried about those being a problem then. Moving the, removing the majority of this marker off the skin so it doesn't get on your clothes. Whatever's left will just come off in the shower. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna, where I test that, the spinal reaction to pressure, um, but I'm just gonna use a slightly harder tool. Do you feel that? Mm -hmm. Is that too much no. in the unaffected area? Okay. I want to get a sense of how reactive that nerve, if that's the, indeed the problem is. Okay. So I'm going to start hitting you and I want you to just start calling out a number out of 10 for discomfort when I get to that point. Okay. Mm -hmm. Probably like a five, six. Five, six. Six. Five, four. Okay, and that's where it goes away. Yeah. Just making sure. Okay, so a little bit more intense with more intense pressure. I'm gonna run this uh, object down your sp your back, and I want you to tell me um, if it feels cold the whole way. Does that feel cold the whole way down? Um, yeah. Okay. There's no sensation loss. Does this feel any different than this? Um, maybe slightly. Slightly? Okay. What about this and this? I don't feel the same. Okay. This side, this, and this? I don't feel the same. Okay. So we're really centered on that spine here. I want to do some more testing there because that should feel the same as that. But you're saying, does this feel um, warmer here than it does here? Uh, yeah, slightly. Okay. Starting out with just a puff of air, and I want you to tell me if you feel it uh, when you when I puff. And again, you're going to hear a little bit of a sound, but I really want you to concentrate on what you're feeling and not what you're hearing. Okay? I won't always be puffing at your back. Good. Oh uh, yeah, I felt that. Felt. Feel it. 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 
Very good. Okay, so you can, the basic sensation is intact. Um, so you're feeling everything. I'm going to touch you on uh, one side of your back or the other, and I just want you to tell me left or right, okay? Mm -hmm. Right, left, 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 Good. right, center, mm -hmm. uh, right, right, left, right, left. Again, so you're able to tell side to side that you're being touched, so that's really good. Um, going to do a bit of a, a sharp scratching here. You feel the difference between that and this? Mm -hmm. Okay. I want to test to see um, if you can feel the difference between sharp or dull, and then I'll see if the difference is uh, changed at all in the affected area, okay? So just say sharp or dull. Uh, dull. Okay. Sharp. 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 Dull. Dull. Okay, so you can sense the difference between sharp and dull. Now I want to see if there's any difference when I touch you with this dull here or down here. Does it feel the same here as here? Um, yeah. Okay, good. How about here and here? Yeah. Here and here? Yeah. Okay, and same thing with the bit of sharp. Does that feel as sharp as down here? Not quite. Okay, and here and here? Yeah here and here. Mm -hmm. All right, so you're definitely having some nerve problems and sensation problems here. Nothing so serious that you cannot feel it, but enough where there is some difference, uh, especially with the cold and the sharp. So that could indicate it's something um, a little bit uh, when you press down on the skin or when you irritate that nerve, pressing harder than just this light touch is when you're starting to have problems, which again would mean maybe when you put pressure on that nerve, that you have some tingling. Just want to measure that affected area. So again, just tell me when it starts to bother you. Uh, yeah, right, right there. Okay, right here, and tell me when it stops bothering you. Right there. Okay. That is about six centimeters of discomfort. Same thing, I want you to tell me when it starts bothering you when I come across. Right there. Right here? And when does it stop bothering you? Right there. Okay. And that's about four and a half, five centimeters. So probably just one or two vertebrae here that are the culprits. All right, I've got a bit of a tool I'm gonna squeeze. And what I'm looking for is the um, swelling or the amount of skin I'm able to grab in that area. I can definitely see that as I move down the back, there's almost no swelling. But up here at the top, I've got about Forty millimeters, and it starts to go away right there. Same thing, no swelling here. Not much in that left shoulder blade. A little more in the right, but dissipates. Okay. Definitely the most swelling right at that affected site. I can feel it with my hands as well. I'm gonna actually make a couple more marks. I wanna test for symmetry now that we have some swelling. So I'm gonna just mark your spine here. straight. There's a, maybe a slight curve right here at the top of the neck. 
but let's go ahead and check with the calipers here. Uh, yeah, a little bit of asymmetry in those first two vertebrae, but not enough to consider it to be severe scoliosis. Have you ever had a diagnosis of scoliosis in the past? Oh, um, no. Okay. It's not something we've ever registered here. So that seems okay. Nothing else seems too out of the ordinary. Jeremy, I'm under the uh, consideration here that you have some swelling, um, possibly from the rower. Um, if you are new to the rower and it's something your body's not used to, you may have tweaked something, that swelling that you can kind of feel when I press on it, right, is um, causing a little pressure on the spine. The spine's made up of nerves and that nerve that has pressure on it is in turn causing some tingling and discomfort in that right shoulder. So I'm going to give you just a little bit of mass massage to try and break down some of that um, fascia there and get you feeling better, okay? Sounds great. Okay, I'll be right back. So just a little oil here. I'm going to put it right on that effective area. Let me know if anything's too much. Do one adjustment up here, Jeremy. Okay, take a deep breath for me and release. Good, good. I think we've done some scraping once before, right? Yeah, I think so. Okay, so you know what to expect. I feel a lot of scar tissue, a lot of knots in the muscles here. Sorry, I know that's tender. Gonna feel something cold now, okay?
Another cold object here. This is a scraping. Feel all those little bumps under the surface? Mm -hmm. Yep, so that's all scar tissue that we're trying to break up and all that's causing pressure on the spine, on those nerves. I'm going to grab a towel. I want to do a little bit of skin pulling before I let you recover, okay? Mm -hmm. Alright, you're going to feel a slight little tug on the skin. Testing that heat. There still is that slight variation, but it's better. a little of this off of you and uh, I think you'll be good to go today. Right, do you have any current discomfort in the back? Um, no, it feels slightly better. Okay, good. Um, keep foam rolling. Do you have a foam roller at home? Mm -hmm. Keep foam rolling, keep stretching. Um, and I think as you strengthen those back muscles, as you do the roller more and more, that may go away on its own as the initial sort of shock to the system goes down. But um, I definitely think if it's really bad, take a ibuprofen, something that's going to uh, reduce the swelling in the area is going to take that pressure off that nerve, okay? Okay. All right, well, feel better, and I'll see you uh, back in a few months for another session. Thank you so much. Thank you.